Hello, this is Witch Nikki, and I ordered this um, 24 colors, um, 11 size seed beads, okay? Um, it also has a kit with, with all of the colors, but it also has other um, tools and things. So I'm going to show you that in just a second. Okay, I didn't want to go through all the um, taking out stuff, it's so noisy. But here I've already put in um, all of these colors here. And I still have this much more. This kit came with um, 0 0.5. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know what I would call this. <laughs> Stretchy stretchy cord okay so that's that came with it and earring hooks a little bag of that um drop thingies for chains and stuff um these are the clasps so basically um several old findings a little pair of scissors that I know I'm probably not going to use very much, but that's nice. And this here too, I found very handy because sometimes the beads would fall into the other tray and I would just carefully pick them out. <clears throat> so I'm using my handy dandy funnel, funnel, which just sits right here. Then I cut open a bag and pour it in. So let me do that, but I have to put my hands down, so I'm going to pause. Okay, so see how the, it just fits perfectly to where it just sits right there. So I could just pour these in. They get kind of staticky, so sometimes they cling to the side of the bag. See that? Then you very carefully lift it up and let the beads fall in tapping it gently as you go so that the beads that cling to the side will just drop right in there. Oops. See how one fell? See that? There's another one. So many different colors. Really pretty. So I'm going to keep, continue doing this. Okay. So there we go. 24. That's a lot. Um, I was just thinking how to possibly remove the stackiness from this what I might do is um, get a dryer sheet and put it flat inside here and just let it you know maybe absorb the static or something uh, and then I'll just keep it in there from time to time to see if it removes the static I'll let you know how that goes I don't have a sheet with me they're out in the garage in our laundry room so anyways that's it I wish it had compartments for the findings but it didn't so now I'm gonna have to find a separate little box or something to keep this in I use a lot of my pill boxes for stuff, and uh, so I might do that. Um, vitamin, anything that you can find to use that. Um, so, what will I be creating with this besides working on my hat? I wanted to get some extra beads 
for it and there was like a lot of other extra colors but it was the only one that I could find that has um, this color in it which is the blue and kind of dark purplish color mixed together I think the yellow is a little bit off so I don't know but all in all and here's some black and the red and the blue and the white um, I could start mixing the colors with my hat because there's still quite a lot of the rim See, there's a good portion from from here to here I don't know how long it is I don't have a measuring tape but um, yeah so I think that would give it just a, a really good I'll just add some of these there to it then I'm gonna have my other colors to go for quite a while and I might try making earrings with that that would be kind of cool don't you think and maybe with this the cord I've made um my bracelets with with this stuff um the beads just slip right on the little cord i mean the little strand see that there you go it's hard to see it there we go see how that little strand right there is um, small enough to just fit right over these. You don't even need a needle. So we'll, go, we'll see what we could do with that. There's the sm a small little video about um, this little process here. See, because this could have been really messy if I just uh, cut open the bags and then poured them in. Especially with how um, staticky they were, just kind of clinging to that, even clinging to the plastic. And here, I had to kind of tap it a little bit to get them to come out. And they were kind of jumping back and forth. They were like just magical, like little jumping beans. Well, I'll be coming back. I know it's been a few days or weeks, even <laughs> a couple of days i've been busy with thanksgiving and stuff like that um i hope you all had a good safe thanksgiving practicing your social distancing the best that you can um my family uh, is michelle's family um we we did zoom with her her big family everybody managed to get on and do zoom even the kids and then we had our turkey here at home. So it looks like we're probably going to have to do the rest like that for Christmas. So, all right, till next time.